Well, I think you've said that the biggest reason why the Tupac murder was never solved was because Suge refused to cooperate. Initially. I think that that had Suge and other members of um, his entourage, you know, if they'd all been forthright and uh, not wanted to take the matter into their own hands and handle it on the streets, uh, yeah, absolutely, Tupac's case should have and could have been resolved really quick. Everybody knows Orlando. It was just getting the evidence to support that knowledge. And, uh, you know, Suge Knight could have said, oh yeah, I looked right over. I seen Keefe D in the car. We had eye contact. I've known him since I was a kid. That right there would have made all the difference in the world. Right, because Keefe in his confession to you said that him and Suge locked eyes. Right. And um, he even thought that Suge was dead because right. he saw Suge get hit, you know, grazed in the head. Right. Um, so at that point, you know, Vegas, you know, Vegas PD shows up. Here's the crime scene. Here's Tupac bleeding to death, essentially. Shug mm -hmm. shot, car shot up. The, you know, the, the Cadillac that just shot at the car was gone. Mm -hmm. If Shug had said, in that car was Keefe D. Mm -hmm. For yeah. sure, I don't know about anything else, but in that car, I saw Keefe D. What would have happened at that point? They would have had the probable cause to arrest Keefe D. Okay. And that would have changed things, obviously. He'd have been arrested right there. Um, and then other people, you know, if they had been forthright, if, if we knew what took place over at 662 back at that time, and seeing the white Cadillac coming in, and uh, potentially ide identifying Orlando Anderson. But once you get Keefe D, and you have him under arrest, that, that reinforces the relationship with Orlando, and that Orlando now has the motive because he just got in a fight with Tupac, and you know everything may have changed. You know they would have been on the hunt. Um, you know they would have known who to look for, other than just f four black males in a white Cadillac. Right, because I remember I, I interviewed, um, you know, two of the Compton PD guys, uh, Blondie and uh, Vlad. Yeah. yeah, Compton PD was investigating Orlando for a different murder. Right. At the time that he got killed, right, and had they actually picked him up for that murder, he might have still be alive. Right, right. I think that was Albert Webb. I think that was the murder that they were talking okay. about. I think. Right, and, and this is what I've what I've said in a couple of interviews is that Orlando Anderson was a certified gangster, with murders being investigated on him and and everything else like that. This was not a a wannabe or a hanger on. This, this was a guy that was putting in work. Right. In Compton. But ultimately, uh, Suge didn't cooperate, and uh, the murder is still unsolved in 2019. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Did, you, uh, did you see the, the Showtime documentary on Suge Knight? No, I haven't. That, the Antoine Fuqua one? Yeah. No, I haven't seen that. Pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Suge cries at the end. You know, he talks about how he's painted to be the bad guy and he's helped so many people become millionaires and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And, you know, there, there is a certain truth to that part. Yeah, there's some truth to that, I guess. When you, when you heard about Shook's 28-year uh, plea deal, did it surprise you at all? No. No. So this is just what happens when you're in a situation like Shook with all the bullshit around it. Right.